A close call today for a family nearly poisoned by carbon monoxide in their Milwaukee home. It came from a generator, as it turns out. That's according to officials. Hannah Jewell joining us live from the fire department with their warning tonight and the family story. Hannah? Firefighters say this family did exactly the right thing in this situation. They got out of the house, then called 911. Fortunately, everyone is expected to be okay. Terrifying moments for a family. All of a sudden, everybody was just falling out and passing out. Eddie Hayes and his family awoke Wednesday morning to the sound of their carbon monoxide alarm. Started beeping. I thought it needed batteries, so I changed out all the batteries, and that wasn't the problem. I called 911 right off, off the top, because after I started feeling dizzy and like I was going to pass out, I knew that something wasn't right, because it didn't feel right. It was hard to breathe. Luckily, we woke up, because if it wasn't for my daughter throwing up and my wife jumping up to see what was wrong, then we probably wouldn't, y'all would probably been filming us being carried out of here. It was just that simple, because didn't nobody even know what was going on. All of a sudden, everybody was just falling out and passing out. Be advised. There were seven family members on scene when we arrived. Fortunately, we caught it. Milwaukee firefighters say he did the right thing, getting everyone outside, then calling 911. Carbon monoxide um, doesn't give you no warning. You're not going to cough. You're not going to choke. You just feel bad. You just feel bad. You feel bad. And it almost like flu like symptoms. And if you're not cautious, you'll go to sleep and then you might not wake up. Determining a generator was being used too close to the house. Anything that uses fossil fuel, gasoline, kerosene, anything that's like that, you don't want to burn anywhere close to doors or windows. Hayes says the family could not afford the energy bill, so the power was shut off on Monday. I rented a generator from Home Depot and got it sitting in, in a nice spot away from the house, no windows open, and Everything was going good. He says seven members of his family, including his children and wife, had to be treated at the hospital, but everyone survived. I was really worried about my family. Grateful to firefighters and paramedics, he says, responded right away. I'm glad they got here when they did. Firefighters say to keep your generator as far away from the house as possible. Use an extension cord if you need to. And also that this is another good reminder to check your carbon monoxide detectors. Make sure they're working and make sure they're up to code. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Hannah Jewell, Fox 6 News. Mr. Hayes is correct, Hannah. This could have been a whole different story and a much more tragic one. Happy it's not. Yeah, Hannah Jewell reporting live for us.